Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. A few weeks back, RTS Tactical sent me over one of their Ultimate Tactical Bundles to evaluate and share my thoughts and opinions with you guys. What the Ultimate Tactical Bundle consists of is just a premium plate carrier, two AR-500 Level 3 rated plates, knee pads, elbow pads, and a pair of gloves. And they use pretty good components in all of this. We'll take a look at each individual component as the video progresses. But the first thing I wanted to do when I got this package was to get the plate carrier and the plates out and, and wear them some. Before I do a video, I wanted to wear them and see how the comfort level was. The plates are curved and sappy cut. So for wearing steel plates, you know, you're going to give up some comfort when you're wearing steel plates. But for wearing steel plates, I found these to be pretty comfortable. Uh, they weigh about eight pounds per plate, and then the carrier itself weighs about three and a half pounds. So you're looking at about a 20 pound vest with this on. And, and you can add side plates to that as well. I, this doesn't come with side plates, but it has the side plate pouches in the vest if you wanted to add those. But as I'm wearing it there, it comes to almost 20 pounds. So you're going to give up some comfort just due to packing the weight. But other than, other than that, I found it to be very comfortable, uh, plenty mobile. The way the cummerbund hooks up to a bungee cord, an elastic bungee cord in the back, really lets the vest kind of move with you and flex with you. And the way the plates are curved and cut, uh, it's really comfortable to, to reach and get things and move around. Just, uh, just uh, I couldn't find anything that was really incredibly uncomfortable other than packing the weight. And that's just a trade-off. You're trading the, the comfort of packing that weight for the comfort of knowing what that plate carrier can stop. So in certain situations, you're definitely going to be more comfortable with that plate carrier and plates on. But I did want to get it out and walk around with it so that I could at least give that sort of feedback. I actually wore it for about eight hours straight the other day just to get a feel just because I wanted to know for myself before I told you guys. Also remember this is my first time reviewing body armor. I've never owned body armor. This is my first uh, first crack at it. So if I leave something out of this review, be sure and let me know in the comments. That way next time I'll know, you know, I'll have a list of things that I can cover, the things that you guys want to know. So bear with me. Understand that I'm not an expert on body armor and that this is my first time ever reviewing it. And also stay tuned to the end of the video because RTS Tactical is going to give you guys a chance to win one of these bundles through my channel. That being said, let's take a look at this kit. All right, so let's look at this entire bundle. This is your premium plate carrier vest, or what they call the premium vest. Very well constructed, heavy, thick material. You've got that patch stuck on there. You've got your Molly loops. 360 degrees on this thing all the way around it so you can deck it out however you, however you need it you know if you just need the minimum or if you're going you know full on assault mode you can you can dress this plate carrier up however you want it's got adjustable shoulder straps you guys saw how this thing fit me i'm six one six one and a half depending on what time of day you take the measurement if you get me early in the morning i'm about six one and a half uh, go about 280 pounds so you can see vest looks good it uh it's available in three colors this is this is coyote they've got it in black and multi-cam as well i think the multi-cam costs a little bit more this entire kit we're looking at as of today you know tomorrow it could be different as of today this entire kit costs you about 179.99 shipped so $179.99 for all this stuff with free shipping. So that's a pretty good deal, and that's a bargain that would be hard to beat. Here we're looking at the back of the carrier. You can see the cummerbund is attached with that elastic bungee, so it does give you some flexibility, some freedom and movement. In the front, You've got a pouch here on the front. And your hook and loop. 
closure and that thing really attaches it's it's not going anywhere once you once you attach it you've also got your side side plate carriers now this kit doesn't come with a side plate i think i mentioned that earlier but you do have the carrier pouches if you wanted to get side plates i don't think most people fool with those but if you did need them and speaking of the plates they actually they go in from the bottom but they're not resting against the bottom of the vest they're they're hanging you, you put the plate up inside and then it hangs inside the carrier so it's not there's no weight resting against the bottom of the plate carrier that snaps shut and hook and loops so uh, and there's no weight bearing on it, it the, the plates actually hanging inside there so I thought that was pretty neat and when I was wearing it of course this is January in Kentucky it wasn't hot out or anything but I could feel the airflow the way this is molded on the inside this mesh uh, with foam molding it does let air move so I'm sure on a hot day that would be well appreciated uh, just a you know just a nice vest it's got i mean it's fully adjustable it adjusts uh <laughs> every which way but loose so pretty nice vest in my opinion when you consider the price point of this entire package especially these are what your plates look like they're 10 by 12. got the sappy cut style i'll give you a look at that label so if there's information on there that I'm not talking about you can easily look it up for yourself just pause the video right here and take whatever you want to look at but it is level 3 rated which is up to uh, 762 full metal jacket lead core rounds get two of these plates one for the front one for the back they are curved which again makes it more comfortable to wear as comfortable as a steel plate can get. They are coated too. They're coated with a textured powder coat. It might help with the spalling a little bit. We'll check that out when we shoot them. We are gonna shoot these, so I know some of you guys are probably wanting to see that. These are the knee pads. The knee pads and elbow pads both come in a mesh uh, storage bag. Haven't used either the knee pads or the elbow pads yet, but I will be using these. I shoot a lot from the kneeling position and in prone position. These knee pads will come in handy. They've got an injection molded cap on them, but the cap is flexible, so it's not super stiff. And I like the way these, uh, these elastic straps are adjustable. That should hold them in place pretty good without them sliding up and down your leg can't verify that because I haven't tried them yet and I haven't tried the elbow pads either and I don't even know if I will use the elbow pads I may give them a shot but very similar to the knee pads both of the the knee pads and the elbow pads are Blackhawk branded so not not completely cheaping out on the kit throwing pretty good stuff in it and I've actually got the gloves on these are also Blackhawk branded gloves they've got two places for adjustment on the wrist and across the back of the hand so you can customize the fit somewhat foam knuckle protectors finger protectors uh, helps protect the back of the hand if you slip and hit something or you have to hit something of course fingerless you can get a hold of stuff easy you, your trigger run your trigger in my case i'm able to actually operate this camera with gloves on so that's pretty cool so that's all that comes in the kit I'm sure I'm leaving something out. Let's put that on upside down. I'm sure I'm leaving something out. This is a learning experience for me as well. But we all have a first time at doing things. This is my first time fooling with this stuff. But what we're going to do next is we're going to put some rounds on it. So I'm not going to go right off the bat with the conventional stuff that you see. You know, everybody that reviews body armor goes with the uh, 308 the 556 right off the bat uh, I'm gonna shoot shoot it with some different things you never know what you're gonna be coming up against so that'll be the next segment of this video I'll go ahead and get set up for it right now Thank you. 
All right, so I'm about 28 yards here. I figure any closer than that, they're probably just gonna shoot me in the face anyway. But I've got 350 Legend. This is a 180 grain Winchester PowerPoint. Let's go check that out. All right, now here's where the, the shot hit. I don't see any tearing around the carrier itself, which means no spalling escaped, not torn anywhere. Let's pull the plate out and look at it. That's a, that's a mess. So here's the plate. The, uh, the coating really did help with the spalling. I see a lot of bullet jacket trapped in there. So that's why none of it escaped. I feel just a, the smallest of dents on the back side. Can't even see it, but I can slightly feel it. All right, so let's step it up, try something else. All right, so up next, we're gonna hit it with the 458 SOCOM. Got a 300 grain nozzler ballistic tip loaded up by Underwood ammunition so you know it's hot. Go have a look at that one. All right, so you can see I hit about three inches above where I hit with the 350 Legend. Still, no tears around the carrier. There is some around the bottom, but no care, no tears anywhere around the top of the carrier, which is you don't want spalling coming through the top because that's, of course, going to hit you in the throat and chin. Let's have a look at this plate now. That 458 SOCOM hits hard. Look at that. The coating is starting to separate from the plate. That's two monster hits right there. Still, eh, about the same dent in the back as the 350 Legend, barely even noticeable. The camera probably can't even pick it up. I can't see it, but I can feel it. But there's where we're at, starting to separate the, the spalling protection off of it. Let's hit it with something else. All right, so that was the 350 Legend and the 458 SOCOM. Now we're gonna hit it with the 450 Bushmaster. I've got these factory loaded Hornady 250 grain FTX rounds and they are screaming out of this 18 inch barrel. At this range, if somebody's shooting at you with a 450 Bushmaster, man, you're in a world of hurt anyway. So we hit there pretty close to where we hit with the 458 SOCOM. I am seeing, that's amazing how tough that is, that no spalling's coming out. That coating is really catching it. And this, so is this uh, plate carrier. Got a few just little small tears here and there, but nothing coming out up here, which is good. Let's pull that plate out. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be breathing that. A lot of lead dust there. <laughs> Look at that. That coating is separated, but it's still intact. Look. Those bullets are barely, 
barely, I mean, they're not even putting a divot in that. Barely dinning it. That is pretty cool. Well, I'll zip it back up. We'll try it with something else. All right, so up next, we're going to hit it with the 50 Beowulf. That's a monster cartridge. 350 grain Hornady XTP loaded up by Underwood Ammunition. That's, it's the size of my thumb. Yeah, I thought it was going to rip that carrier off the shepherd's hooks. Let's go have a look. All right, I hit. I hit right beside where I hit with that 458 SOCOM round. Right beside it. So surely that done some damage. Once again... I just see some, just some tiny places. So that's amazing. As many of those big bore bullets have, that we have disintegrated on this plate, very little, very little has come through that carrier. That's, that's pretty cool. Check this plate out. <laughs> I've ripped the hanger in half. Look at that. That's doing its job beautifully. <laughs> the plate is, it, the damage is so minimal. Those big boy rounds just have no effect. Velocity is the killer of steel. Those big boy rounds, as much energy as they uh, have, as hard as they hit, they just don't have enough velocity to hurt that steel. But I wanted to demonstrate that to you guys. Well, let me get this thing put back together. We'll hit it with something else. All right. Up next, we're going to hit it with some 5.56 XM855 green tip, also known as penetrators. We got the little steel penetrator in them. I've got three of them loaded up. I'm going to fire all three of them onto the plate. We've got the vest turned around we're hitting the same plate but we've got the vest turned around because the combination of all those big bore rounds i hit on the other side broke the plate carrier strap on the inside Let's go have a look. Hit here, here, and here. There's a look at the plate. Now these did leave divots. Just some small divots in this side, no dent whatsoever. The back side of the plate pretty much looks like new. That's pretty cool, guys. Pretty tough plate. All right, I had a lot of fun with today's video. Got a lot of cleaning to do now. So I think this is a great bargain for everything that they're throwing into that package for $179.99 is what they're advertising it for. Like I say, that's today's price. May change tomorrow. But I think that's a, an excellent value. Now this business about 
giving one of these kits away that I mentioned earlier in the video. RTS Tactical sent this one over for me to demonstrate with, and they've got another one held back for one of you guys. A uh, couple rules. I know rules suck. Nobody wants to follow rules, but uh, one of them is you have to have an Instagram account. RTS Tactical wants you to follow them on Instagram, and also once I choose a winner, that's how they're going to con make contact with you. I want to have you message them through Instagram and they'll already have your name and, and be ready to go with your stuff. So rule number one, get on Instagram, follow RTS Tactical. Rule number two, it's real simple. Uh, the Reloaders Network's been really good to me. I would like to drive some traffic over there. If you can go to the link in this video, if, if you're not already on Reloaders Network, you may be watching this video over there now. But if you're on YouTube, you can follow the link in the description. Go over to that video on the Reloaders Network and just leave me a comment on the Reloaders Network video just saying, I want in. It's that simple. Uh, if you don't have a Reloaders Network account, don't cost you anything to make one. Just go make one, leave your comment, and in two weeks from the date this video was published, in two weeks, I'll draw a winner. And I'll get with you and I'll, I'll comment back on your Reloaders Network comment and then I will get with RTS Tactical let them know that you're going to be contacting them on Instagram and we'll do it that way so in two weeks I'll upload a drawing video but I'm only going to upload it on the Reloaders Network so you'll see the winner being picked over there on the Reloaders Network uh, links will be in the description should be able to leave a link to this tactical bundle since it's not there's nothing in the YouTube rules that says I can't link to this. They do have rules that I can't link to gun manufacturers and uh, high capacity magazines and things like that, but they don't have any rules on body armor that I'm aware of. So hopefully I'll have the link to this in the description of this video. Also with the link to RTS Tactical's Instagram account so you can get over there and follow them. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. So appreciate my Patreon members. You guys are, are what, you know, you're the, you're the foundation of this channel. Uh, appreciate what you're doing. And I'm going to see if some of you guys maybe want some of this stuff I shot today just as, uh, you know, something to hang in the reloading room or something. Maybe a, just a memento or something like that. Souvenir. But that's all I got. And I'll talk with you guys again soon.